chapter number 14, let's all just stand this morning. Read the Word of God. Mark chapter number 14. We're going to have an offering special music after I preach. Right? Amen. Amen. God forbid we do it differently than we've always done it. But hallelujah, we're going to this morning. I'm going to preach. So I'm going to preach. Preach. Sometimes it's preaching time. I believe it's preaching time. I'm preach. I'm going to preach. Good to have you stay glad you're here. Thank you for coming to get Let's have church, all right? Amen. Amen. Mark chapter number 14. If you would please, verse number 17 in the Word of God this morning. This gives me about 55 minutes to preach. I like it. Preach. Mark 14, verse number 17. Take the Bible, turn there, and I will read a few verses here in the Word of God. And uh, I've been preaching this morning what I believe the Lord uh, has on my heart. Mark 14, verse number 17. And in the evening he cometh with the twelve. And as they said and did eat, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, One of you which eateth with me shall betray me. They began to be sorrowful and say unto him one by one, Is it I? And another said, Is it I? And he answered and said unto them, It is one of the twelve that differed with me in the dish. The Son of Man indeed goeth, as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Good were it for that man if he had never been born. Uh, I'm going to preach this morning uh, on the third message on the Bible question series. And I want to preach this morning on the statement that the disciples made near the Word of God after Jesus said, one of you is going to betray me. I want to preach this morning on the subject, is it I? Is it I? Let's bow together and pray. Father, thank you this morning for this great numbers came out on this rainy, cool Sunday morning. Lord, I pray you give us what we need right now from the Word of God. Lord, I'm excited today to preach. Lord, I don't know what it is that stirred up this morning in my heart to preach the Word of God. And so, Lord, I pray you give us what we need today. Touch your people today. God, I pray, Father, you give us a good time in the Lord. And God, I thank you for what you do. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. You can be seated this morning. You like your church today? Amen. That choir sounds like your word. I appreciate it. I like the choir sings like that's good. And I thank the Lord today for the privilege of being able to preach the word of God this morning. This is just burning on my heart. I just couldn't wait to preach. I, I just got to preach, all right? I ain't got no other reason that I walked up steps on the preach. I walked on the platform on the preach. And I'm doing this on the preach. Amen. And now then we'll get done so we'll do the rest of the time. Interesting passage of the Word of God. Here's a time when Jesus knows, uh, of course he knew all the time, that the disciples uh, and he were gathered together for this particular day. Now you and I have a lot of information about this because we have all of the Word of God. We have all the Bible. We know that this is when Jesus is going to deal with Judas. And Judas, of course, is going to leave and he's going to go out and he's going to betray the Son of God. And I've read this many times, but yet God spoke to my heart about something else in this chapter that I'm going to deal with today. I want you to notice as all those disciples sat down in the Lord, I want you to notice that none of them had a clue on the who it was that was going to betray the Son of God. None of them had a clue. I think that's amazing to me because I would have thought that they would have probably known it was Judas. I would have thought that they would probably know that he showed some evidence that he was going to be the one that would betray the Son of God. But you know what they said? They said, is it I? Is it I? And they began to think of themselves. Am I the one he's talking about? Am I the one that's going to let the Lord down? Am I the one that's going to fail God? I got to read that the other day. And God began to deal with my heart. And I began to think about this. Lord, could I be the one one day that would walk away from you? Could I be the one one day that would turn my back on you? I've been saying that for a lot of years. I've been preaching this Bible for a lot of years. And can I say this? I want to finish right. Amen. I want to finish in the battle. I want to finish in the fight. I want to finish right. I don't want to be a quitter. I don't want to be a backslider. I don't want to walk away from God. I want to finish right. Amen. Amen. I bet you, you imagine that day 
there in that room as Jesus said, one of you is going to betray me. One of you is going to betray me. There's somebody in this room. All of a sudden, Peter looks at John, and Peter says, Is it I? And John can lean on the breast of the Son of God. I don't know if John would have ever said this or not, but they began to say, Is it I? Can you imagine going around that room and they say, Oh, I can't believe it. I've been walking with him, and I've been, uh, I've been doing all, I've been doing it, and now one of us is going to betray the Son of God. And all the years I've been doing what I'm doing this morning, I've been amazed about how many people have walked away from God. I've been amazed at how many people have turned away and went in a different direction. I've been amazed how many people have compromised their Bible, have changed their music, have changed their stand, and walked away and betrayed the Son of God. Friend, I want to say this this morning. We're way too close to home. We're way too close to home. I have nothing to go back to. Everything is before me. And I want to make sure that I don't betray the Son of God. I got interested in this word betrayal. I got interested when Jesus said somebody's going to betray me. I want you to see this. Webster's Dictionary defines betrayal many different ways. But two of them, I thought, were very pertinent to what I'm preaching today. One of them says, well, betrayal is to be unfaithful to. Or betrayal is to disappoint. In other words, when you betray somebody, you're, you're unfaithful to them. Or, you're, or you disappoint them. Well, I began to think about that. And I got my own self under conviction. I was sitting in my office studying, got my own self under conviction. I thought about how many times have I disappointed the Lord? How many times have I let God down? How many times? I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about preacher this morning. I'm talking about your pastor today. How many times in my life have I let the Lord down? Well, I want to say it the old-fashioned preacher way. I'm glad this morning, though, I have failed the Lord. I'm glad He's never failed me. I'm glad He's never let me down. He's never turned His back on me. Friend, is it I? Is it I? Is it I? Am I the one that's going to fail the Lord? I want to say this today. That horrifies me. That horrifies me of the fact that I can fail God. That horrifies me of the fact that I can let the Lord down. Listen, if Peter felt like he could, and John felt like he could, and Nathaniel felt like he could, and Andrew's always bringing somebody to Jesus, felt like he could. Oh, if they felt like they could let the Lord down, certainly you and I need to realize that we could as well. We need to realize today that we could as well. Friends, can I say this this morning? One day we're all must give an account to God. We all going to have to stand before God. We're all going to have to kneel with God one day. And friend, listen, I can have them standing before some men. I can have them standing before some others. But one day I got to stand before God. And I got to give an account of my life. I want to say this today. I don't want to be the one. How about you? That lets the Lord down. I don't want Satan to have my seat. I want to stand for God and live for God and be what God wants me to be. Amen. By the grace and help of God, I'll say this today. I try my best to do right, but boy, sometimes I don't. I try my best to think right, but sometimes I don't. I try my best to speak right, but sometimes I don't. All of y'all know what I'm talking about. My heart's desire, brother friend, my heart's desire is to live for God. My heart's desire is to make my Savior proud. But I'm going to say this today. There are times I know I'm such a disappointment to Him that I'm not everything my heart of me. And one day I've got to stand before Him and give an account of my life as a child of God. Is it I? Is it I? Let me ask you a question. Will it be you? Will it be you? Will you be the one one day that will let Him down? Will be you? You'll be the one one day that will disappoint Him. Will you be the one one day that will betray Him? Oh, you might not sell Him out for 30 pieces of silver, but you might turn on Him. Listen, I get so excited, and I say this with caution. I get so excited to see families like Brother John White and his family, or Brother Fred, or Brother Clarence and others that get saved out of the life of sin. I get so excited about that. It helps me go through another day. But I want you to understand some the devil knows where they were he knows where they are and I think every day that I'm praying for them if he could he'd love to trip them up and come after them and mess them up friend you are what you are by the grace of God and nothing else don't get so high minded you think you'll never be the one you could 
imagine if I felt God, how many folks would, would be stumbled by it? I, I don't want to be the one. Hey Amen. But I'm 49 years of age. I've been this way a long time. 30 years of my life. I didn't start doing it yesterday. 30 years. 30 years. God's been good to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Man, God's been. Anybody got a testimony? I'm not talking about saying. I'm not talking about standing up and talking. I can lift your hand up high and say, God's been good to you. Pray the Lord. Ways that I could disappoint the Lord. And I jotted a few down that I want to give you. First of all, I want to say this. I could betray Him with my words. I could betray Him with my words. Right. Hey, listen. Matthew, Jesus said this. This people draweth nigh unto me with their lips or with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Well, I get so tired of this crowd today. Oh, they talk church and they talk Jesus and they talk me and born again. But their life does not show that. Friend, that's betrayal. That's disappointment. You and I need to understand people are listening. They're listening to what we say. I don't want Right. How much more than my wife and I were 
brother Baker must have said would somebody come walking in you used to go to church here boy they saw me and man they're just so loving and kind and and, and he's had some good fellowship and they have and that, that person kept talking and talking and talking my wife said Lord they didn't talk that much to us that members of the church and just talking and talking and good fellowship but you know what I was doing the whole time the whole time I was talking to that person I was trying my best not to say the wrong thing not to sound the wrong way I thought Chris if you can't say nothing positive eat a french fry and shut up don't say the wrong thing don't say the wrong thing well I love I love Miss Maggie's husband I do I love brother John Man, I play golf with him, enjoy it. Ain't nobody loves golf more than that man does. He, he walks to play golf 30 degrees, loves, retired from the Navy, right? I, I went from the Air Force, and he just loves it, you know. But you know what, when I'm playing golf with him, sometimes I'll hit a bad shot. I ain't played in a couple months, but sometimes I'll hit a bad shot, I'm going to say something. <laughs> and, and, and it ain't amazing grace. <laughs> and it ain't, it ain't I love Jesus. Like, if you've ever played golf, you know what I'm talking about. Man, I get so mad sometimes where I spit the grass and dies. Amen? And I want to say something so bad, but I know i got to be careful because right there around me is a man that doesn't know God. Amen? Amen. 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 We can betray him with the words. Are you with me this morning? Amen. Amen. Second of all, we don't get quiet on me, but we can betray him with a worship. Amen. Now, I will tell you the truth. I've never understood it since I got born again. I've loved church. Amen. Somebody help me now. Since I got born again, I've loved church. Amen. Nobody's had to go get a couple home who get on the back of a pickup truck right. and drag me out of the bed yeah. and down to the house of God. And I love church. And can I say this? If you're born again by the blood of Christ, there will not be a place you enjoy more. The Bible says in Hebrews 10, 25, not forsaking the assembling of yourselves to ourselves together, as a matter of some is, but exhorting one another as so much more as you see the day approaching. Can I say this? You've got to go to that job. You've got to work and earn that living for that family. Somebody got to go to school so you don't grow up and be dumb like I am. But can I say this? Hey, it's a privilege. It's an honor to be able to come to God. Pray the Son of God and not go to church. Nothing should be more important to a child of God than going to the Father's house. It's like a soldier leaving the front lines. Listen, I remember an old war movie. This kid was scared in battle and he wanted to run away and hide. His sergeant said to him, this moment will define the rest of your life. He said, son, this moment will define the rest of your life. You know what he was saying? He was saying to him, listen, I want you to know this is where you want to be. You're wearing the uniform. You're part of this country. Don't die. Bail out now. You're on this side. Amen. And I said today, I'm glad I'm on the Lord's side. I want to be a hey, this is better than the ball game, the golf course, or anything else. The house of God's a good place to be. Listen, does anybody help me now? Amen. Listen, I'm telling you today, I don't want to be one. I don't really want to be one. I, really, I know I can't tell the Lord's coming back, but I wish he'd come back on Sunday morning. And I wish he'd come back during church time. Amen. Because some of the members that are home today, that could be here, I want to see what they say. Right. Lord, I'm sorry to make it today, but man, I'll sleep so good and it's cloudy. Amen. It's cloudy. You know what? I have to get up every day and we can go to work at school, you know. Got to go to class all the time. But it's cloudy today. Somebody help me now. I ain't going to stop preaching. Amen. Oh, preacher. I, I, Lord, I want you to know. I'm sorry. I was holding back the Lord. Oh, that, that race is my favorite. I mean, Lord, I got so many TV shows to catch up on. I mean, Lord, I. I and listen, and I tell you this. If the Lord wants to come back this morning, I tell you where I'd rather be. I'd rather be right here in the house of God. Amen. 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 
Is it her? Is it her? Is it her? Listen to me. I promise you, if the devil had his way, he'd get you out of church. You're right. If the devil had his way, he'd get you sidetracked. If the devil had his way, he'd mess you up. Oh, yeah, he would. Because he knows if he can mess you up, he can mess somebody else up. He knows if he can ruin you, he can ruin somebody else. Friend, I'm going to tell you what, if your words say one thing and your actions say another, if you say amen on Sunday and be the fornicator's man on Monday, and if you say amen on Sunday and sing the choir on Sunday and cuss like a sinner on Wednesday, I'm telling the world ain't got no time for that. They're not even asking that kind of Christianity. Give me that old time religion. That's going to make a difference in your life. Hallelujah. I'm going to start preaching 55 minutes every Sunday. Amen. 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 Who said we have all the singing anyway? Amen. Amen. No, I'm just kidding. I like singing. Watch this now. We can betray him with our words. We could betray him with worship. But number three, oh, listen, we can betray him with a witness. Amen. Right. That's right. The Bible says, Mark 8 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and my words in this sinful, in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed. When he comes in the door of his father with the Holy Angel. I'm amazed how many people, Christians, there's a little nobody know it. I'm amazed how many people say they're saved, but they're ashamed of it. Right. Yeah. I said, that right. Somebody help me. Yeah. You're right. We all got be, you know what? We got gay parades. We, 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 got, we got parades of abortion. We got parades of this world marching up and down the streets. Uh, and we got people burning our flag in America, having a big old parade while Christians uh, are stuck somewhere in the corner somewhere and ashamed of what we are. Friend, I want to say today, I'm a blood ball. Team James Bible preacher. I believe in old time religion. I hate sin. Oh my God. but yet witness. Paul said in this great verse in Romans 1.16, you probably know it, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. For it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone hallelujah. that believes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I say hallelujah, hallelujah. Brother Jerry. Hallelujah. Not ashamed. Hallelujah. I can say not ashamed. Amen. Not ashamed. Amen. Oh, listen, other night, other night, Miss Sandy, Miss Sandy, we pick up them Duke Carolina stuff. You know what? Almost when I bought me a Duke hat. I tell you what, I tell you one thing I cannot stand. I cannot stand somebody not putting heart in what they do. I cannot stand somebody thinking they're good enough, they don't even put no effort in it. I can't stand that mess. I got some mad they have a pit seven times. I mean, I was mad, man. I'm watching people have all the talent in the world. All the talent in the world. And run around like they don't care. And it don't matter. Hey, I said if you don't care, and it don't matter, stay yourself at home. Amen. Hey, I want somebody in the race that does care. And somebody does. Say that right there. Right. Oh, yeah. Say, preacher, where are you going with that? I want you to watch this. It's amazing to me. It's amazing to me how many people get so excited. Right? Yeah. But you know what? Next day, they'll throw that old Tar Heel hat on. Right. They'll put the Tar Heel shirt on. You'll know tell say, well, I'm still a fan. Right. Yeah. I'm changing my mind. <laughs> I said, I'm changing my mind. It'll never be dear because I ain't never pulled for them. I'm changing my mind. I tried to pull for them last night. I hate them so bad. Pray for them. I just can't do it. But I'm going to tell you something. I want you to understand. I want you to understand something. Oh, yeah. You go somewhere this week, you know what they're doing? Oh, they, they're getting the brackets ready. They're watching that Tar Heel team again. Are they going to go and play somebody like Belmont Abbey and get beat by 40? I mean, to visit two school because they don't really care. And you listen, you, you watch them and watch somebody put their little heavy stuff on. They'll put their coat on. Hey, listen, that team didn't even act like they care. You know what I'm talking about. You got people this world, they don't really care. It's all about a dollar. It's all about a buck. It's all about making a name. For themselves. Right. Oh, sure, something goes wrong at the house of God. Right. Sure, somebody gets right. let down a little bit. Your check and account is full, as you think it ought to be. All of a sudden, don't you do it? You take off your covers. Right. You'll stop running with that crowd. Right. And I'll tell you right now, you better be careful. God's been better to us than we deserve. Right. God has been better to us. Amen. 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 I'm not necessarily saying 
them kids don't care, but they play like they do. And stuff like that bothers me. I don't care if nobody's that good. It don't, it, not being that good don't bother me. Some people just don't do this stuff. Say amen. amen. My wife would try to help her swing the club, golf club. I looked at her and said, baby, play the piano. <laughs> play the piano. You're good at that. Play the piano. Amen. amen. I'm talking about witnessing. Listen, don't betray me. By the way, you witness that in open mouth. Right. right. You witness every day of your life of a child of God. That's right. right. That's exactly right. You've got to be careful. Yeah. What's the Bible according to you? Y'all still with me? Yeah. Amen. You know, it's early in church. Y'all still with me? Great. Yeah. Yeah. You've been here no time. You've been here 30, 35 minutes. You've been here no time. Yeah. Hey, I want you to understand that the witness of God, we don't need to betray the Lord. Right. Yeah. 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 How many times God brought you to witness and somebody people do? How many times God wants you to stand up and say, I'm a Christian, you didn't do it? You gonna be one? You're gonna stand for him one day and say, Lord, you know what? I really should have shared gospel with you. I really should have. I really should have. But the Lord, you know, I just I was kind of embarrassed. I still don't want to be embarrassing. It's when you think you don't care. Well, see, I'm at the back of the book of Jesus. We we. Amen. That's God, we we. But listen to me now. When you get to that place in your life, and you stand before God one day, and you should have witnessed to somebody and you didn't. And you was afraid of who's sitting around you. I don't embarrass myself. I don't think of them, think I'm a Jesus freak. I don't want to think I'm a holy roller. I've always thought that'd be a good name for a church bubble league. Holy roller. I don't to do a mess with it, just thought about it. I, I, I've always thought in my life, when they stand before God, and I stand before God, <coughs> because He gave me an opportunity, because He, he opened the door for me, and I didn't witness. Amen. You know how I didn't do it? People sitting around me. Listen, there are people who even bow their heads and pray for me and think somebody's watching. <coughs> That's right. What about Oh, I don't want to make nobody think I'm just your way out there. I don't want nobody to think I'm kind of religious or not. Can I tell you something right now? I ain't blowing up no buildings. I'm not some kind of idiot in a cave somewhere. I serve the God of glory. He changes lives. He don't fly planes in the buildings. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. Amen. Well, I've been saying to myself a few times. I got around people a few times. They asked me, say, what do you do for a living? I almost didn't want to say I'm a preacher. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I've, got, I've felt that in my... Now, I know that comes from the devil, but I've felt that before, you know, and I think, the world. Yes. What in the world? Right. Huh? Yes, sir. You go out with that scabby hunt on you, young people, all that stuff? People, what are y'all doing? Well, we just... We just no, no, no. We're born again, Christian love Jesus. Right. We're going to have a scabby hunt today. Right. Amen. 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 I'm not talking about being obnoxious to people. I'm not talking about, man, that's a big book. What's that thing? Webster's Dictionary. Hallelujah. You using that Sunday school? I'm glad I ain't in your class. What? <laughs> <laughs> so that dude could call a book thicker than the whole man life. <laughs> hey, understand we need to be a witness. I don't want to be the one. Somebody help me now. Hey, man. Somebody help me. Number four, I don't want to betray it in the warfare. Right, man. Right. Years ago, y'all heard that some of them had Burlington. We were going to build our first new sanctuary. So I'd been, in, I'd been in a community center. We had to take squared ass posters off the wall. I'd been in a little building on Wimson Avenue in Elon that the wind would blow through and blow the pilot lights on the gas stove. And finally, we had to build that brand new church. So we cleared off five acres of land. Get ready to build that brand new station. We got the plans drawn up. Banks getting ready to prove everything. And we took a stand against rock music in our area. Well, back in that time, that's when all this junk started coming out. Satanism and all that mess involved. And our church took a stand against it. Somehow the newspaper got a hold of it. So when the newspaper got a hold of it, it was a whole page article. Baptist Church hates rock and roll. 
I mean, so in there, lamb blasting us, little letter to the editor, a bunch of cowards, you know, letters to the editor, and they're all blasting everything. And boy, one day, I'm, I'm driving a bush hog out in the field, and the bush hog gets some stuff down, so I love just tearing stuff up, and the bush hog can stop. And one of my men comes up to me and says, Preacher, have you seen the paper? Boy, they showed me that paper, how we were. I thought, Lord, have mercy. The bank's going to see that paper. That somebody else going to see that paper. Come find out. So they done got a big old group of a bunch of tree hunters red and on my red and tree hunters. And they done got a big old group up going to come around and protest us. You know what the devil said? You better back off. You know what? But this is a war. Right. This is a war, man. Right. This is a battlefield. Yeah. Save for no pansy, no, no. Hey, this is a battlefield, buddy. You better get the lace off your underwear. This is a battlefield. You understand what I'm saying? It's a battlefield. Yeah. Yeah. When shall I go ahead and have that burning? Yes, sir. Had big old barrels up there. Zodiac Brad's house. You know how crazy he is. <laughs> Had big old barrels up there. Boy, y'all getting quiet when I'm talking about that. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I would have gotten some ice cream that. <laughs> then it's time you got you a barrel. Right. 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 You have more joy. Right. We've thrown all that stuff in there. So there's five, six barrels. I'm going to tell you what. I tell you, that music day absolutely makes me sick. Right. 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 Other, day, right. other day, my earphones messed up. I was up to the gym, my earphones messed up. Got a young boy running that gym over there, you know. And he likes that. Evidently, he likes that rap stuff, you know, playing yeah. off of the gym. Yeah. And, I, and I had them here for him, and I always turn him up and listen to some good old hymns. I listen to, you know, I've been listening to preaching, you know. Right. And, and I might even listen to, you know, go back in the 1950s a little bit. Don't tell nobody. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, I, I, all of a sudden, I'm sitting on that thing, and I start hearing the words, and it's music. Good. Don't you get quiet in me. No one to learn the mess. Preach it. Preach it, preach it. Any on that thing talking about what he was going to do to that girl. Right. How he's going to do this and do that. You think because a little thump going down the road, a little rap stuff. Oh, I just like to beat your life from the pits of hell. It ain't got nothing to do with me. You like them words. Uh, them words to fire you. Uh, and them words to potty mouth. Uh, and you better out to trash that junk and throw it in the trash. It ain't worth the stuff he's made out of. White boys ought to put your britches up, put your belt on tight. Oh, and also put stinking underwear. Right. Put your hat on right. But you listen to me. Understand what I'm saying? We got all them barrels. Start burning that stuff. That crowd's supposed to show up. Next thing I know, here come three sheriff cars. Three sheriff cars. Hallelujah. Son, you keep me a good example. Y'all don't know nothing about him. But son, he has qualified. He's already been to UNC for grades. Now he's getting to go mama to Carolina for grades. Duke, Duke, bless his heart. Duke, Duke for grades. He come here look like a young man like he does, dressed nice like that. I like it, hallelujah. Make someone say, well, maybe he'll be president, maybe he'll build the rockets, whatever. I don't know. Smart like that. You ought to go down and read that dictionary over there, brother. Amen. Hey, but can I tell you something? Hey, I want you to listen to me right now. Understand what I'm saying? The world itself, the world itself would love to rob our generation yeah. of morality and hope. We're yeah. running that stuff. Three sheriff cars pull up. I love the speech of our man preaching. Three sheriff cars pull up. One of them is the dude. Pastor, is everything going okay? I said, yes, sir. We got no burning permit. You know, we burning, we burning, we burning, you know, y'all remember when records and all that stuff, and hey, we burning stuff, man, it's got to be polluting. So I'm an Al Gore with a heart attack. Say, man, oh, that's why I was rolling in. I'm having all this bad weather. We burned that stuff, and Al Gore told us it was going to happen like that. Hey, and the sheriff looks at me, and he says to me, he said, y'all having trouble? I said, no. He said, you won't. I said, we won't. He said, no. He said, we're going to sit right down here, and if they show up, we're going to tell them to get off the road Amen. and to go back where they come from. Amen. And that church is trying to help you young people. I think in my mind, well, hallelujah! You know what? I'm glad you know what happened. That bank not only gave us a loan, but the next time I win, a 
place that preacher anything else you need, just let us know. We'll be glad to help you. Hey, somebody ought to stand up. Grab your 1611 King James Bible and shoot the devil.
think I'm pretty true. I stayed bright this morning. For you, but not to be a white friend, do I? I stayed high and bright this morning for you, Miss Selvis. High and bright this morning for you not to be a white. I have to be honest, I did. Miss Carol didn't you? Miss Susan, I didn't. Well, the guy I love him, I didn't have one when I break this morning back here. You know what I did this morning, Miss X? I didn't break for you. Much as God knows, we need it. I didn't break more this morning, this morning, this morning. I prayed this morning. Of family God. 